What's up, you lovely lurkers? I'm Willie, he's Scott, and welcome to the show. Today, let's talk about pro bowling. It's a bird, it's a plane, what is that out there? If you like our voices, you can find our faces on YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram, or winning an EGOT at the 65th Annual Grammy Awards. Let's lurk! God, I had a, a pretty distraught day at work. I was. I don't um, want to hear about it. Okay. Well, all, all, all I'll tell you is I <laughs> knew I had to drive home and we needed to record. And uh, I'm holding a monster energy drink, not a monster dong. I know some of you. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> and I immediately, like, I fumbled it in the car. It's dark. I drop it and it goes everywhere. Better than a monster dong. <laughs> so uh, immediately i was like oh my god car you need to drive i need to clean this up so i put autopilot on and i just let it drive while i cleaned up the car i i'm glad that you're admitting you're uh, breaking the law here for the entire world maybe maybe one day what's your license plate number again uh it is go to go fuck yourself <laughs> To Listen, Shay. <laughs> I'm officially in vacation mode, baby. I don't care. <laughs> well, speaking of vacation mode, every single sport seems to be on vacation mode right now. Whether it is the NHL and their All Star break, baseball and their, I guess, off season, uh, season the, break, the Timberwolves not playing well, <laughs> and the Breaking Bad. The NFL, which happens to take a break right before next week's Super Bowl. Now, is that normal? Is that what they always do? Actually, uh, for a while, the the Pro Bowl was after the Super Bowl. And okay. people who got voted in would go to Hawaii and just play like a lackadaisical game. Which brings us to my story today. The Pro okay. Bowl has changed, possibly forever. And so you, as we have demonstrated on this show, <laughs> probably don't watch a Am lot I, of football. Am I correct? Listen, growing up, people called me the Schwab. <laughs> I'm surprised you and... know what that is. <laughs> yeah, because I always walked over to my friend's house and I was like, why are we watching this stupid nerd on this show <laughs> talking about sports? And they're like, he's going to be important one day. And you know what? Right now, Mike, he isn't. <laughs> so that's what I thought. Where is where is that man? I think he retired. I think he's just old now. But anyway, speaking he hangs of hangs out with Ken Jennings. <laughs> he's way older than Ken Jennings, but yeah, but they're still two just incredibly smart people. Yeah, that's true. That is very true. Uh so a bunch of smart people were watching the Pro Bowl and they're like, "Hey, NFL players, we know you just spent all of your energy trying to make it to the Super Bowl and 99% of you didn't. So if we could have you just go real hard one more time while on vacation in this beautiful island. And all the NFL players were like, yes, we will absolutely do that. And when it came to game time, it was like, meh, <laughs> let's, let's just half-ass it. You know, we're not going to really play defense. Uh, and so the NFL had to try and come up with like, we'll pay you more money or we'll like move it to a different place so you don't have to leave your family. But it's still hard to tell people who play a game where you could potentially get concussed and affect the rest of your life sure. to, uh, to do something that doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Fast forward to the 2022-2023 season and we now have something called the NFL Pro Bowl Games. Have you heard anything about this? Uh, yeah, they signed up Jennifer Lawrence to uh, play Katniss again, and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. she's going to merc children. <laughs> <laughs> they pick a representative from every team, <laughs> they <put> a, <laughs> drop them in the jungle, and say one comes out alive. That's right. <laughs> Just broken pool sticks. Good luck. Good luck, Justin Jefferson. You can do this. <laughs> now, I can guarantee you everybody in the world would watch that. So, NFL, if you're listening... Yep free idea but what's actually happening is they're like hey 
why don't we just try and make it a little bit more kind of X Games like where you don't actually have to put on pads. You're going to play flag football. Okay. And we're also going to have a bunch of mini competitions where like the quarterback throws at a robot wide receiver. Uh, a bunch of people get to go see who can hit a golf ball the farthest. <laughs> um, there's a best catch competition. So my question to you is, 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 is that where they show off their wives? <laughs> <laughs> also NFL free idea, but we're running low. So <laughs> <laughs> my question is to you as somebody who does not like sports. If you were to see something like this, if you were to see like, you know, flipping through the channels as you, you may, or like something pops up a notification, be like, Hey, yeah. It's not actual football. It doesn't actually count, but it's going to be a bunch of guys just playing flag football. Something where it's fun, you know. Celebrities might get involved. Women might get involved. Like, all these types of things are on the table for the future. Is this something I heard that... Will Smith could be a good running back. Just <laughs> slapping him out of the way. <laughs> Is this something... Oh, oh, and dodgeball. They play dodgeball. They play dodgeball. I know the question you're going to ask me. Absolutely, I would watch this. Okay. Because, like, athletes are just good at at being athletes. At everything, pretty much, that's athletic, right? I I shared this story earlier this week, but I, I had a roommate in college. He was an actuarial major, which means, like, super smart at... Making sure people don't lose stuff. money. Yeah. Yeah, which means they get paid the most as, like, an, an, a financial person because they make businesses more money anyways he had gone to state in minnesota for tennis every single year from eighth grade until his senior year and i think he won most or at least was like in the top top round okay that's how good he was at tennis the story is not about him i had another roommate who was just this tall lanky kid just like a peyton manning and he's like oh I, I could play tennis with you. Let's go play tennis. Oh, no. But he was one of those people <laughs> that was good at all sports. So if you've seen a tennis serve, it comes at you by high-end players at over 100 miles an hour. The people who are really good, this yeah. Is, this is what my roommate is serving. He is the top tennis player in Minnesota year after year after year, and he's serving these, like, beams <laughs> at my other roommate who's just volleying them back. Like, it's no big deal. He's like, this is fun. And he had never this played tennis. This is what this feels like. He's never played tennis before. Oh, my gosh. He clearly was another an athlete in other sports, though, right? Or did something? Yep. He okay. played basketball and baseball. Okay, yeah. And I don't know if you've ever seen an athlete up close, whether you've gone to, like, an autograph signing or just happened to see somebody at the Mall of America. You're like, oh, hey. These people are usually, like, physical specimens. <laughs> like, you can tell, oh, this person doesn't sit at a desk all day. He is not mopping floors. No, he is... Well, he's mopping the floor, but usually with other people. <laughs> it is uh it's intimidating to say the least. So you're saying as a as a casual viewer who doesn't really care about sports because like, you know, the Vikings are horrible. Why would you watch them in the first place? Uh prove me wrong, Vikings. Do something. Huh? I'm it, huh? I'm I'm looking at the article that you posted. Uh, from CNN, and I'm seeing on the NFC side, you've got, which is ridiculous that the head coach of both teams are Eli and Peyton Manning, which is amazing. I love it. But the quarterback for the NFC is Kurt Cousins. Yeah. Yeah, he got voted in. He was, I mean, the Vikings did well enough this year in the regular season, but we all say they're horrible yeah. because they lose in awful fashion every single year. <laughs> yep. Minnesota has like five players on the team. Yeah. Yeah, and it's a it's a voting like a public voting process, and I think okay. players have some input as well. But uh, you get like your starters, and then all your backups. And then if people say like I don't want to play, then the reserves come in. Okay, but it's still fun like to see all these people that you hopefully have gotten over <laughs> the loss or or them playing terrible as a team throughout the year to see them come together and have some fun. And, right, and I think. You saying, like, absolutely, I would watch this is what the NFL wants to hear because they're trying to get you to buy into this and then eventually buy back in when the regular season comes back. 
Now, I know this season they decided to inverse a little bit and put the Super Bowl after. Originally, it was going to be a little bit sooner, but the... I think one week. Things might have gotten adjusted, but I I don't know if it actually changed the the actual date of the Super Bowl. It would be too hard to change that, I think. Got it. So it's not like Pro Bowl this week and uh, Super Bowl next week? That is right. That, That is what's happening. I like that, and that that's not the normal order, correct? Normally, they would do it like the I other said, way. Usually, it's after, and then, but um, I I like it before. I think it like it brings teams together. There can be more discussion. I, honestly, I think it's going to take dummies like me, mm-hmm. and as long as the commentary is there, I think it's going to provide a place for me to be like, okay, tell me like these players on this other team on these other two teams, they're not playing. Give me a little bit of information. Oh. Now I see the real competition. Now we can, like, after our little bit of fun, we can go into, the, like, the, the top-tier players. Yeah. And and then I think also, too, it gives you a chance to learn people's names because that's kind of mm-hmm. a big thing for people who are just coming into sports. Like, what are they doing, number one? And number two, who who are they? Who's the good person? Who should I care about? And so, like, you know who Justin Jefferson is, but you might not know who Jamar Chase is. You might not know who... I don't know, Micah Parsons, George Kittle, all these people that you've never heard of. Bless but you. But you, might, <laughs> <laughs> you might see them and be like, the next time they play the Vikings, they're like, oh, I remember him from the Pro Bowl. He's really good. Or he hung out with that kid reporter and gave him tickets to the Super Bowl, like those types of things. Huh? That's the thing that happened, yeah. You have NFL hanging, NFL players hanging out with children? There was a kid reporter named Jeremiah who – Mm-hmm. is amazing. I recommend everybody go look him up. And he was just interviewing players and asking them like legit pro interview questions. And like some of the players were like taken aback and they're like, "Oh wow, this kid came prepared." And he maybe he's like 10, 11. And then at the end of one of the interviews, one of the players was just like, "Hey, I got something for you." And it was like this gift bag full of stuff, but it was also two tickets to the Super Bowl. And he's like, "I'm going to the Super Bowl?" That's awesome. Yeah. So it was really cool. I hope that when you come back on, uh, what are you flying, by the way? Just curious. American. American. (laughs) Of course you are. It's the the only airline that's never been troubled, has never (laughs) had problems, ever. It never lost somebody uh, who flew to Paris uh, or, you know. They never left anybody behind on a Christmas vacation. No, never. I just hope you don't run into any turbulence or birds or balloons uh, while you're up there. Help. (laughs) Because, as you know... I'd get shot down. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, so tell me you've been following the story. Tell me you've been paying attention because, good God, I hate everything about this but we have to talk about it we have to talk about it i was scrolling through tiktok i see the first story i'm like eh, whatever let me let me scroll again just another video of the same thing scroll one more time another video the same thing i scroll past a couple of videos another video of the same thing i cannot describe to you just how invasive videos of this balloon were it's like balloon boy all over again you know what I just realized? So the, America this... has a thing for balloons and clowns. <laughs> yes, the but but the uh, the the balloon was supposedly allegedly sent by China. And mm-hmm. what better way to track this balloon than to have cameras on it, right? Good and, point. And where did you see it the most? Oh, <laughs> so. they're just like you know what we're gonna let this go and we'll kind of pilot it by whatever i don't know remote control (laughs) but what if our phones were the ones that were like kind of guiding it guiding it oh god we're all doomed (laughs) oh man they can't get brought in front of congress fast enough (laughs) (laughs) Did you, okay, so there was this big controversy, I would say, like, 
we're, we have to, I guess, if we're going to discuss this balloon incident, this talk inflated about politics. incident, yeah. <laughs> uh, dude, can I just like future me insert a uh, you know angry politic noise, <laughs> whatever it sounds like? There's going to be a noise. You'll know. <laughs> do you think that the response from either side uh democrats or republican was an appropriate response i wasn't really trying to listen to what they were saying because uh it's just a bunch of a-holes on the ground and not people who actually control radars or uh, military Mm -hmm. so i was waiting for like the generals and the admirals and whoever in our military were going to make recommendations and when that was actually going to come public because it was first spotted over Canada and then crept into Montana over our supposed alleged nuclear silos. Allegedly. And then it like, then the next TikTok I saw, it was in Missouri and I don't know what's there strategically, but it made it way. It made its way over South Carolina. Farms. Yeah. Uh, and out to sea. And then, and only then, was it shot down. So people who were saying, like, let's shoot down this unknown piece of equipment while it's over the states. What, what are you doing? What are you thinking? Like, why would you want that to fall on somebody's house? Oh, I know why. Because you're a cold, heartless bastard. <laughs> I, I think they were hoping that if they can get a, a clickbaity title, then they will rally some concern from their base ultimately angering the other side sure but or if they had shot it down and it fell on some poor schmuck's house who's paying for that china because the insurance won't they can't say it's an act of uh it's it's it'll fall under the doctrine of uh what's that stupid thing where america can spy on us all the time the freedom of information (laughs) i don't know what it's called 9-11 yeah (laughs) they just say 9-11 and then they're like oh okay i forgot so (laughs) we i okay we talk about this a lot i'm gonna take a tangent for just a second but we try to make each other laugh and scott and i will often talk about how comedy like what's the foundation of comedy and it's really tragedy uh (laughs) tragedy plus time yeah equals comedy and I've noticed a unique thing from like Gen Zers or younger people on the internet is we're starting to see far more 9-11 jokes. Okay. What do you think of that? Is it too soon? Ask Pete Davidson. I don't know. He's probably the authority. You'll have to catch him in between. His his dad died. Literally, his dad died in one of the towers. That's a different tragedy plus time. (laughs) That's that's called therapy. (laughs) But I'm just saying like... He he would know. I don't. I, I'd have to go back and watch any sort of a, a specials to see if he's making nine eleven jokes. But if he is, then I think everybody else can. Yeah, he's making those jokes. You can find them. Okay. Do you think? Do know. you think as far as like the this balloon goes? Why? Why was it so impactful? Why did it just consume media for like three days? I think because it was immediately labeled as a Chinese balloon. Mm-hmm. That's that's kind of like what riles up one side of the aisle, and then the other side of the aisle has to respond. And pick a side. I don't care. Whatever, whoever whoever I is popped up in your head first. You're right. That's that's what I'm talking about. But it's also been like a slow <laughs> week, right? We're talking about sports. We're talking about with football. You know, like kind of ending. Like just things are kind of winding down. We got awards sure. season coming up here, which. A lot of people really don't care about anymore so no it's like okay well i guess there's there's i mean the bachelorette tiktok trend died real quick if we're if we're talking all things equal something had to captivate the united states of america (laughs) (laughs) and and in true military fashion like we don't want people invading our borders right so do you think do you think a balloon like this do you think it should be cl- I, like I don't should it be classified as a spy balloon what are they gonna get are they gonna get people's homes it, it looked like because it was so hard to actually get up close to it due to its altitude it looked like it was a uh, kind of like a, a communications interceptor meaning that 
you oh. and I recording right yeah. now, if we were talking over some sort of radio signal, like Wi-Fi or calling over LTE, it could possibly intercept sure. that chatter. And so if it was flying over military bases, I'm sure they were attempting to see if this tech could pick up that chatter. Because what good are the satellites in space going to do for audio? Nothing. You can get visuals on the ground and take pictures once you fly over every, I don't know how many days, hours it takes a satellite to traverse the globe. But you're only getting limited information. So now they're trying to put more pieces of the puzzle together without sure. having a, a human person or a drone infiltrate. I do find this part of the story interesting. This is from the New York Times. It, it goes on to say that the Pentagon claims that over the course of the previous administration, by the way, there were there were a bunch of balloons that went across the United States. Nobody ever said anything about it. Yeah, good, good intelligence there to finally come out <laughs> after the fact, years later. Mm -hmm. So the previous president then went on to his truth social and said, China had too much respect for me. Uh, he, he says, China has too much respect for Trump for this to have happened. And it never did. In case you forgot who was speaking. Yeah, in, in case you were wondering. Um, <laughs> I think that's very interesting, too, because, number one, did it not come out because it was kind of, like, silenced? And nobody happened to be, I guess, pointing a telescope at that point in the sky for four years? Or, two, did it actually not happen? That's this is me. My... This is me feeding you conspiracy theorists. There you go. There's your spoonful. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my interpretation of this. I think that country to country espionage. There's a term for this. I don't know what it is. It probably happens way more often than you might think. every day. And <laughs> and this is just one of those moments where it got caught, and it's going to create a buzz because. The veil has been pulled a little bit. Like, mm -hmm. we got to peek to see the reality of the world a little bit. And I don't I don't necessarily think that it's meant to be like a, a gotcha moment for conspiracy theorists, for those QAnon folks out there to say, like, look, it, it really happens. Yeah, but I think it is, like, for us in the Midwest, where nothing exciting happens, we look at this and we're like, oh, <laughs> Okay. Jason Bourne's real. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, you have to think about spies in terms of actual human beings are somewhere embedded in the United States right now. People from other countries, people have been turned by other countries. Willie and I could be a spy, but you don't you don't know. Seriously. Uh did you ever watch the show The Americans? No. It's Carrie Russell. She's who? Car Carrie Russell? Felicity? MI3? Uh, Star Wars? The last one to make money off of? <laughs> the Skywalker Saga? Who? Is it, did it, an owl replace Willie over there? Because I'm talking Carrie <laughs> Russell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I j I'm looking up a photo right now. And I'm still lost, man. Holy cow. You have lived your whole life. Go just do a quick Google search for Carrie Russell on Felicity. Just real quick. Is is this is this going to bring me to the Age of Enlightenment? Da -da 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 -da. I don't know what the song was actually for Felicity. <laughs> oh, um, God, what movie was she in? I know this. Hold Star on. Wars. Which Star Wars? The last Skywalker one. What role was she in? She was the... So when um, Poe gets revealed to be a spice <laughs> smuggler, maybe she wasn't the last one. Maybe it was the second to last one. What? She was, was, she, she was, was she the voice of that weird little... She was the one that was like... dressed like uh, Daft Punk. And she didn't take her helmet off until like the very end. 
she she was maybe that's why i don't know what she looks like oh my god you're so (laughs) mad at me right now (laughs) hold on i do not know carrie russell you're you're telling me that she looks like a star wars version of a power ranger and i'm supposed to know that that's fucking carrie russell when i'm telling you i barely know what work she's done okay you have well, never seen. You know what? You've I never got it. Seen I got it. You've never. All you seen... needed to do is tell me what wasn't she the hottie in Starship Troopers? Shh, no, that's not her. Who's She's... that? That's not her. That's somebody else. It. You no. There's no way. This 100%. is a different person. No, her name starts with a I D. I hate this. Her name starts with a D. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be wrong. It's not Denise Richards. No. That's not who I'm talking uh-uh. about. No, the other one. Oh, it's Dina Meyer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they could be sisters, I guess. But I'm impressed that you know. Yeah. Those two are really close. Mm-hmm. But anyway. But see, uh, I don't know who it is. Egregious still. lack of Carrie Russell knowledge <laughs> aside. <laughs> seriously. Uh, you should go watch several of the things she's been in because she's a, an amazing actress, too. What were we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Somehow she's involved in this conspiracy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! Balloon. Spies everywhere. Spies, spies like us. Somehow that clicked for you. <laughs> I don't know where we are anymore. <laughs> I'm just saying there are human spies that we see in these okay. shows and stuff that get trained to go to other countries and pretend. We caught like some Russian spy that had been here for over a decade, just a few years back. We have, like, tech that gets put on flash drives and left in random streets in a country, and then somebody picks it up and a virus gets loose. We have spy satellites. There's just all these different types of ways that countries can spy on each other because we don't trust the other person to not want to take our land. Yeah, fuck you, Carrie Russell. (laughs) I saw you in Mission Impossible 3, you spy. You were there. She was in that for like 30 seconds, honestly. Spoiler alert. She dies. Is that the one where she has the thing in her eyeball and dies? Yeah. Yeah. She dies in like the first five minutes. Horribly, by the way. (laughs) But she was still hot even even after. Her brain exploded. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, So it's going to continue to happen until we die. Most likely people are not going to trust each other. But that is not to say that we should just let something like this happen. We shouldn't let these things, we shouldn't let somebody dip their toe in the water and think they can dip their foot in the water because that just erodes the trust even more in what is also uh, an erosion in the government. So I would say for people that wanted it shot down early, I understand but you weren't thinking straight for people who are like, let's wait it out. I understand from a data collection that makes sense as well. At the end of the day, you know, Carrie Russell was in, we were soldiers. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, At the end of the day, I think Willie's a spy because he has never heard of Carrie Russell. And uh, I'm just going to leave it at that. Uh, well, don't spy on me. Thank you guys so much for listening to this week's episode of the podcast. Find more of us on our socials, and we'll see you in the same clothes next week. Next week. <laughs> <laughs>